Hi, I'm Patty. I'm your personal fitness trainer, and I'm here to show you how to do the 15 exercises on the extra mat. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to show you very quickly how to navigate yourself through the mat. Okay, so number one, you're going to warm up. Okay, you're going to move those limbs around. All right, you're going to go to number two. You're going to place your feet right here, and you're going to do number two. All right, let's move on. Number three, narrow squat. You're still facing this way. One and two. Then we're going to move on to number four, which is a push-up. Put your hands right here, feet down here, down and up. Okay, hands number five and six, right there. Toe tap towards the center or walking plank. You're going to stay here, number six, glute raise. There you go. Let's do a couple of those. Then number seven, feet right here. It's a reverse fly, arms hang, stay along the edge of the mat, just like that. Number eight, you stay in the same spot. It's a double row, just like that. Number nine is a deadlift, down and up, just past your knees. Number 10, a split lunge. Step forward, number 10's right there, down and up. Moving on, number 11. Step forward, got to do the other side. Here you go, down and up. Okay, number 12, you're going to have a seat. Go just like this, side side for your obliques. Okay, number 13, jackknife. Here you go, one. I bend my knees, you can use straight legs. Number 14, air bicycles, here you go. Overall, here you go. Number 15, help yourself up. How about that? Pretty fast. Down, up, down, and up. Give yourself a hug. One through 15. There you go. I just showed you briefly of how to use the mat. Now we're going to go more in depth on how the workout goes and how to be proper and safe and get the results that you're after. Number one, warm up. Okay. What I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you hip flex. Okay. Raise up those arms. You want your body to know what's coming. You're going to be moving around, okay? Number one, just warm up. I usually tell people about a minute or so, but for the sake of this video, we're going to move a little more quickly, okay? So get your heart rate going a little bit. This is number one. All right. We're going to move on to number two, a wide squat, okay? You put your toes where the toes are, okay? You're going to sit back just like this. Press up through your heels, squeeze your glutes at the top of that, okay? A nice wide squat. What you want to do is we're using big muscle groups right now, okay? Burns a lot more calories. Get to the top of the move, squeeze. Down and up, like you're sitting down and you change your mind. We're gonna go one more. Down and up through your heels. Number three, more of a narrow squat. Similarly, you're gonna sit back, keep those knees behind your toes, Press up through your heels. I show you where to put your feet. I show you where to put your toes. And again, like you're going to sit back. Press up through your heels. Do not lock those knees at the top of that, okay? Down and up, nice and easy. We're going to go one more. And then we're going to move on to number four, which is a push-up. Now number four is right here, as you can see back here. Number four, put your hands on number four. Feet are here. Press yourself down and up. You're going to press up through your hands. If that's too difficult or you have wrist issues, you can go like this, down and up, down and up. Or you can modify and go on your knees, down and up, down and up. Do not lock out your elbows. You take away, you put that stress on your joints. That's not good. You want to keep the stress in your muscle. Okay, number five. We're going to move our hands in, get up, tap towards the center. Now what I did for you is I had the number in the middle, 13 and 14. I'm just having you tap there, okay? I call this a walking plank. There you go. And then I'm going to direct you into a glute raise, okay? So you can take your straight leg up like this while holding yourself up or Drop to your knee and go up. We can modify anything you need. Okay, let's switch that out to the left side. 
We're doing roughly five reps so I can show you how to do these things. There you go. Now what I tell you to do when you get up, give yourself a little stretch, and I'm going to move you on to seven, eight, and nine, as you can see. Okay? So get up carefully. You don't need to get up too quickly and get lightheaded. So put your toes here, a reverse fly. So what you want to do, soft knees, sit down, a little bit in the back. Get your hands even with the number nine. You can see it up there. And then you raise up like that. It's really good for your shoulders. Don't come in past the nine. You want to keep that tension in your muscle group, okay? We're working the rhomboids and posterior delt. Then we're going to take you directly into what I call a double row. So it's just like this. Now you'll notice I don't have weights in my hands. A lot of times you can use your body as resistance. So here you go. If you use your body as resistance, you can do this every day. And uh, in our later videos, we have doing with, with dumbbells. And this is going to take you right into a deadlift, OK? So bend just past your knees and come back up. Again, keep your knees soft. Stick your glutes out, and as you can see, what I want you to look at is look at my back. Nice and flat at the bottom of that, okay? Again, I haven't had to move my feet. You're in perfect form. Knees are soft. Hips stick out just past your knees. Working the hamstrings, the glutes. Everybody likes tight hamstrings and glutes. Let's go one more. There you go. And then we're going to move on to number 10 which is a split lunge, okay? So step forward. And what I like to do and what I like to tell you is it's basically you're bending your knees, okay? So it's bend and back up. And what I want you to do, it's down and up, not forward and back, okay? So I tell people it's north and south, not east and west, okay? So here you go. And you can really feel that in your legs and your glutes. We all want to be tight and firm, toned, doing it correctly. You're going to get the results you want. One more. Let's do that. Now, if you have the dumbbells in your hands or a body bar, what I like to do to challenge myself a little bit more, oh, we're on to number 11, uh, do a bicep curl while you're at it. Or I have some people who go like this, just to challenge yourself a little bit. And there you are, split lunge. Now, you notice just my knees are bending, OK? I'm keeping my knee behind my toes. I'm safe. I'm on the ball of my back foot. Perfect. Now we're going to go on to number 12. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a seat on the mat for the last three. OK, here we go. I call this the oblique twist. So here you go. Two, three. Now if you need to, put one foot down, put both feet down, or just sit and lean back. What I like to do is as you get stronger, and you will get there, there you go. Both feet are up. OK. And this is going to take you into what I call a jackknife. Now what you need to do here is your body is going to meet itself up like that. Now the modification of that is this. OK. And what you do to one side, always do to the other. But you keep that lower back pressed into the mat. That way you're, you're tight in your abdominals, OK? So there you go. Let's go a couple more. And then we are going to transition into what I call air bicycles, OK? You're going to sum up what you just did. You have, your body feels good. There you go. And what I tell you is lead with your shoulder, not your elbows. Don't pull your neck up, OK? All the while, your lower back staying pressed into the mat. Feels good. Everything is tight, tone, firm. You're getting there. You're getting what you want. There you go. Healthy choices. We're good with that. This is out. That was number 14. So here we go. Number 15. You're done. You're going to get up. Going to sum everything up where you started. Here you are. So here you go. I like to go like this. Reach up. Ah. Think about how your day is, what you want to do. Reach up. Let's go one more time. Down and up. Man, that feels good. Give yourself a hug. You just did the extra mat. You're done. So go to extramat.com. E-X-R-M-A-T.com.
order your mat in red, blue, or purple, or all of them. And it comes with a handy carrying case. You just throw over your shoulder like this. And socks and an instructional pamphlet as well. You stay healthy.